Asian man. So if you don't hold on, you will fall. So please be careful. I don't know what it is about me, but I tend to attract a lot of Cody's. I mean, I might know what it is, but. Welcome back to my channel. Happy fall, y'all. I feel like Paula Dean when I say that. <sighs> I'm so excited about fall. Now, once again, I am playing the role all zipped up in my Adidas tracksuit. It's still probably 85 plus outside, but I am committed <laughs> and I have already started using all of my fall goodies. So I figured today would be the perfect opportunity for me to share my fall essentials. Fall is probably my favorite season, fall and winter, because we really don't get a real fall until our winter. So I'm so excited. If you guys would like to see all my goodies, all my fab finds, and my essentials for the new season, then please keep watching. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share down below what is one thing that you cannot live without in the fall time. For me, that would be fragrance. You guys know that I am pretty much fragrance obsessed. So without further ado, let's start with fragrance. Now I recently have shared a top fall fragrance video and a fragrance haul. So I tried not to include all of the same scents in this video. So there's kind of a mix. Let's start with my first essential. This is Amo Ferragamo by Ferragamo. I wore this to bed last night. And my bottle has macerated, like my juice is so deep now. This is one of the loveliest scents ever. I want to say it's like orange blossom and maybe vanilla, but this smells like an orange creamsicle. My mouth is watering. It's creamy, it's dreamy, it's citrusy without being too citrus forward. It's definitely a sweet gourmand fragrance but it just smells like a dessert. Oh, it smells so beautiful. I like wearing this during the fall and winter because of the vanilla. I mean, hopefully it has vanilla. It definitely smells like it does, but it's a little more light and airy and fluffy, and it's just great for bedtime or daytime when you don't want to be too intense, because you guys know, like my vibe is sexy and intense, but that's not always appropriate, so I try to have a mix of fragrances that can give me the light and airiness, and that is Amo Ferragamo. This is not a popular scent. My friend Dominique put me onto this years ago when we worked together, and it's just such a beautiful scent. I'm just reminded of how nice it is. If you like Parfum de Marly or Rihanna, this is in the same family. Just beautiful, sweet, and creamy. It lasts a good amount as well. So Amo Ferragamo, definitely an essential for me. Okay, let's go to the dark side, the deep dark side. Not that dark side though, just the dark and sexy side. This is one of my newest fragrances, Atar Collection, Kaltat Night. Shout out to my girl Denise Adore in my fall fragrance haul that I just shared. I spoke about how she raved about this scent so long ago. Makes me so happy. This is like a boozy, deep, vanilla, cherry, sweet, like candied cherry. I mean, there's also, there has to be like a note of like tonka or rum or something because it's a spicy, you know what? I think it's cinnamon. There's a spice in here. It's very androgynous, leaning, masculine, I think, but I love it. Y'all know I love a good masculine scent. This is like a Tom Ford Lost Cherry mixed with Angel's Share by Killian. Like just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is very, very similar to Parfum de Marley's Oajan, which is a men's scent and it is gorgeous. This is just deep, sexy, syrupy, sweet, cherry, vanilla. My mouth is watering, cinnamon. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I like wearing it all the time, to bed, out at night, just anytime I want to smell sexy and intense, a quality fragrance. And this is under $100, so I'll link it down below. Okay, my next fragrance is, ugh, one that I love so much. This is Zara Ebony Wood and shout out to my girl Natalie. She purchased this for me for my birthday one year. And I like this in the summer and in the fall because it's a woody fragrance with pink pepper. So it's woody, but it's still light. Not super, super depthy like Call Tot Night. 
It's a peppery, woody, fresh scent that's a little sweet. It's very interesting. It's not too woodsy, but it's not too light and fresh. I know a lot of people like using this as a mixer. I have started mixing fragrances, but I'm still not too... I don't wanna use that much in my fragrance, so there's that. <laughs> but this is a beautiful, beautiful, I think, this is androgynous, but it is a feminine fragrance, but I could see a man wearing this and smelling absolutely lovely. So once again, this is Ebony Wood from Zara. And this is like a daytime set for me as well. Okay, my last fragrance that's gonna be essential. Oh, it's my favorite Nishane fragrance that I own, and this is Ani. Now, shout out to AI the Great because she's the first person I saw ever speak about this fragrance. Uh, when she started her channel, she kind of opened my eyes to a lot of niche fragrances, and she loved, and I'm sure she still loves, Nishane Ani. <sighs> Baby. Now y'all know I'm currently in my gourmand era. This is the most interesting vanilla maybe in my collection. I have a lot of vanillas now because I'm in my vanilla era. But this is vanilla and ginger and maybe some bergamot. It's very fresh, a little peppery. It's just so yummy though. This is like fall and winter in a bottle. Very, very androgynous. I would even say leaning more masculine, but for me, I love that. This is not going to be for the faint of heart. I can't get enough. I mean, this is just amazing. When I first got it, the longevity wasn't that great, but now this bottle is over a year old and it lasts and like, make it last forever. That's the scent. It is so beautiful. It just steals my heart. I think I'm gonna wear it this weekend when I go out for like the first time in forever. If you like feminine fragrances, sample it before you purchase it. I would not say blindly buy it, but she or he is a stunner. Okay, let's move on to handbags. I have two handbags that I'm really going to be- Oh, I have a third. I don't feel like going downstairs to get it, but the first handbag that I have already switched into, that I switched into today, is my Alexander Wang Rocco bag. And shout out to my friend, because she sold this bag to Fashion File, and then I bought it. She was watching one of my videos, and she said, I think you bought my bag. And I, every time I wear the bag now, I think of her. So hey, friend, she kept this bag so well. It's beautiful, it's like a taupey leather with rose gold hardware, rose gold studs, on the bottom. <sighs> the bag is beautiful. Now the Alexander Wang Rocco was a popular bag like a long time ago and you guys know that I love a good vintage or forgotten classic bag and that's what the Alexander Rocco is to me. I really want it in like a bright electric blue but I'm trying to not buy any bags, but that bag is just so effortless. It is like a doctor style handbag, kind of like a Speedy, but it does have an attached shoulder strap. I love that bag, it's so easy to carry. The one con is that it's super, super heavy because that leather is so thick but that leather is also so sumptuous. So I'd highly recommend an Alexander Wang Rocco bag. You can find them for like between $100 and $300, and the quality is out of this world. My next staple, my first Bottega Mini Jody. This is in the color, was it, is it in the color Elephant? I'll put the name across the screen. No, 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 it's in the color Thunder, so it's gray. This has started my Bottega Veneta mini Jody obsession. I recently got a pink one in the color ribbon for my birthday. I love this bag so, so much. I like it because it's understated, kind of if you know, you know, but right now like everybody and their mom knows what this bag is, but I just like it because the leather. I always tell people, I understand why people buy dupes because it's cheaper, it's cost effective, but if they're not real leather, when you get a feel for the Bottega Veneta leather, what dupe? Why? Why and how? You just won't want to buy a dupe unless you just don't feel comfortable paying that much money, which I totally understand. The leather on this bag is just so sumptuous. I love it so much. I like how you just carry it handheld. You can take it with you to dinner. Now, it's definitely a dinner bag. Don't carry this out to the mall, shopping, to the airport. You will be pissed. 
<laughs> this is a going out bag, a special occasion bag because you really can't fit a lot in it. Can't even carry it like this. I mean, maybe if you have a tiny arm, I can only carry it like this. And who wants to trot around the mall like this? Not I, but for a statement piece, for a dinner piece, I love this bag so, so much. Okay, and my last bag that I'm gonna pull out for heavy rotation this fall is from Valentino, the Valentino Rock Stud Clutch. I really want to make better use out of the bags in my collection. I have quite a sizable handbag collection and I pretty much rotate my favorites. So I really want to start using bags that I have that are beautiful like this that don't get enough love. So I really like this because you can carry it like this, like this, you can carry it under your arm and you can carry it like this. So this is a really multifunctional piece and this does come off. You can detach it from the inside. So if I were a club goer, I could wear this, of course, to dinner, to brunch. I mean, it holds a nice amount, but it's still a very thin bag. It's not very wide at all, but I love it. It's very, very soft and sumptuous. The leather is just amazing. And it's such a pretty pop of color. I will for sure be carrying her more often this fall. And let's put her back in the bag so she doesn't get scratched up. Oh, and because this is not a very popular clutch, you can find these for a really great price on the pre-owned market, which I would highly suggest. To me, this is never gonna go out of style. And even if it does, if you love your bags, then wear them. I'm not someone who really feels like you have to wear just what's in style. I think we should wear what we love. Okay, so for body care, I do have a few favorites. The first is my Malin and Goats body wash, hand and body wash in dark rum. This is my Cody scent. If you don't know what a Cody is, I don't know how to describe it. It's a fine Caucasian man. Cody just smells like this. You know, I don't know what it is about me, but I tend to attract a lot of Cody's. I mean, I might know what it is, but this smells so beautiful. Sweet, it's spicy, it's woody. Oh, this is just so beautiful. It's just a sexy scent. Definitely very androgynous. It's sweet, but I can still see like, it's a Cody. Cody wears plaid shirts. He might even wear boat shoes. Cody might even drive a pickup truck. Cody is definitely Southern, okay? But he does play golf. Like, he's Southern, but he's Southern with like a little bit of something special. There's just something special about Cody, okay? And he bathes in this. His deodorant smells like this. Do you catch where I'm going? Cody smells amazing. And this just smells like a Cody. So I love this. I pulled it back out for fall. I'm probably going to run through this really, really quickly. I went to New Orleans with Kendra over the summer. Oh no, this was in the springtime. And we stayed at a hotel that had this in the shower and we ordered it on Nordstrom like that night. So I love this so much. Rum, sweet, spicy, peppery scent that is perfect for fall. My next favorite or essential is the Kapari Exfoliating Cream crush scrub. Now, if you guys are no stranger to my channel, you know that I have been raving about this for years, but I really only use it in the colder months because it's super, super hydrating. This is the most hydrating body scrub I have ever used. Actually, it's a tie between this and the Osea salt scrub, but this is probably a lot more cost effective. The one caution I would say be careful when you're in the shower or in your bathtub because you will slip. This has so much moisture in it, so much coconut oil because Kapari's like staple ingredient is their really, really nice coconut oil. It's gonna be left on the bottom of your tub in your shower. So if you don't hold on, you will fall. So please be careful. I don't want any of you falling in the shower and getting hurt but that just shows you how much it hydrates your body. When you finish using this on your body and you're in the shower, you can see the water beat up on your skin because water and oil don't mix. So, so, so amazing. I'm so glad to have another one of these. Kapari actually sent this to me, but I've been using this for years. It is amazing. And the last skincare, body care, at least product that I don't have with me is the Osea Body Butter. Now, this is another product that's very pricey, like 
$55 pricey, but it is so amazing. I tend to get eczema on one area of my body, specifically in the cooler weather. And this body butter has colloidal oatmeal, which is amazing for hydrating your skin. So if you have eczema, rosacea, anything like that, any really dry, sensitive, or irritated skin, this body butter is gonna be amazing. It's also great if you have crepey skin. I just love it. It's so smoothing, it's so whipped, it feels like a pudding, and it's so hydrating on your body. It's very expensive, but so, so worth it. I love body butters with colloidal oatmeal because they are deeply hydrating. So that's definitely my favorite and one that I'm gonna be picking up so much this fall. Okay, now my last favorites are going to be skincare. Let's start with my anti-aging serum. Y'all already know, the Clarins Double Serum has been my favorite for a few years. Shout out to my girl, Roya. She used to always talk about this. Anything that Roya stamps as being amazing, is amazing. I will link her channel down below. I love all of her recommendations. If she says it's good, buy it. She means what she says. I tried this because she was always raving about it and of course I fell in love. It's a water and oil soluble formula. So there's two chambers in here if you can see. One has the oil and one has the regular liquidy serum and you can control how much comes out of the nozzle at the top. When I tell you this makes your skin juicy, juicy skin when you wake up the next morning. And this is great for people in their 30s or 40s. A lot of people think Clarins is for more mature women, but they have lines specific to your age and your skin concerns. And I love the double serum. I only use this in the fall and winter, but they have come out with a lighter texture, which I'll probably like for the spring and summer. Okay, let's get into moisturizers. I recently tried the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I fell in love. Once again, Roya has talked about this forever. I never wanted to try it because it was super, super pricey. But then I got on Bobbi Brown's PR list, thank you Lord, and I'm obsessed. I do have a larger version of this, so I should probably save this for traveling. This is like the smoothest, lightest weight moisturizer that's very, very hydrating and makes your skin glow. Roya also said she likes to use this as a face primer, like under makeup, because you can use it as such. I haven't tried it like that, but all the OG makeup artists like from 10 years ago all rave about this. This is so many celebrities staple moisturizer and I can attest to it. It has vitamins in it, it makes you glow, it makes your skin so smooth. You're gonna wanna pick this up for sure. I thought the texture would be greasy, but it is not. It's really, really nice. Now my moisturizer that I've been using for almost a decade, you already know, the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. This is my favorite everyday moisturizer that's not too expensive for the fall and winter. For the daytime, it smells very fresh and clean and it is a gel cream. So it's perfect if you normally have oily skin like myself because it's not super thick and creamy. It's a hydrating gel. <sighs> This is so amazing. Like I said, I've been using it for almost a decade. I put so many of you ladies and gentlemen on and I love that because it's so, so wonderful. Whenever they have the jumbo size at Sephora, I always buy it. I'm gonna buy another during the Sephora sale this year. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, and my last skincare product is actually a mask from Dermatology and I talk about this every year. Once again, it's the Dermatology Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And it actually smells like Pumpkin, so I love this. If you look inside, it looks like icing. It literally looks like a pudding. It's really, really like gelatinous and smooth, but it has little pumpkin enzyme beads in it. So what I love about this is that it's hydrating. It exfoliates your face, it makes you glow, and it makes your face just feel so amazing. So when you put this on, it warms up. You put it on, you rub it in. I leave it on for like five minutes and it creates like a mask. And then when you rub your hands in circles, you kind of work the beads into your face, the pumpkin enzyme. Oh my goodness, it feels so nice. And then you wipe it away and your skin will be so smooth and glowing. This is the perfect mask for fall because a lot of us are coming into cooler, drier weather. And so this really, really hydrates your skin and also exfoliates it and it makes you glow. It is just perfection. The last product for skincare that I think I just received in PR, so I don't have it up here with me. It is the La Roche-Posay Hyala B5 Serum 
which is my absolute favorite hyaluronic acid. Now hyaluronic acid is perfect for fall because it is a humectant and it works by drawing moisture to your skin. So you wet your skin after you cleanse it and then you apply your hyaluronic acid and it helps to increase the moisture barrier of your skin, which is important because literally in the fall time, as you can see, I'm all about hydration and I love that serum because it's not too, too pricey. La Roche-Posay has really great products that are like drugstore to mid-range. So they're sold at CVS and Target, but they're a little more pricey than your regular, you know, typical drugstore products, but they still work really, really well. And they're simple, they're effective, they're backed by dermatologists, and that is my favorite hyaluronic acid serum. So guys, those are all of my essentials for fall that I wanted. Oh no, that's a lie! Girl, how could we forget about makeup? OMG, what's wrong with me? How could I forget about makeup? Makeup is like my first true love, but as you guys can see, like clearly I've gotten away from makeup. So I have three lippies that I want to share that will be in heavy rotation this fall. And the first is actually what I'm wearing on my lips now. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Collection Lipstick in Amazing Amal. And it's just like this really pretty reddish, plumish, matte lipstick. I have it on with her lip liner in M. I kiss and it's the perfect combo I love it it's a good matte formula that's comfortable it's not too drying and it's almost full coverage so I only have to apply like two layers and it just looks perfect it's also refillable so shout out to the good girl Charlotte because it is sustainable okay my next lipstick is called Rouge Dior 897 mysterious matte this is another type of like deep purple matte shade I'm all about these type of colors. I got this for Christmas a few years ago and I really like the formula. This is a bit fuller coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury, but it's also a bit more expensive, you know. It's Dior, the packaging is cute, but the formula I really, really like. It reminds me of Flat Out Fabulous by MAC, so it is a little bit more like fuchsia toned in this. So if you like Flat Out Fabulous, then you will like number 897, Mysterious Matte by Dior. And my last lippy is something that I tried with my girl Stacy B many years ago. I think when we first met up, we went to the NARS store in the Buckhead Village District, which is no longer there. But this is the lipstick in Gypsy, and this is a sheer tone lipstick. And I'm usually not a fan of sheer because that also means shiny but this is the prettiest get up and go color that you can just swipe on that you don't need to use a mirror it's a thin formula it's sheer but it's so beautiful on the lips i love this so much and i forgot how much i loved it so i can't wait to use it more this fall season this lippy is just so pretty and effortless i know that like i love a full beat but this is not typical of the average woman or man. Most people don't put on this much makeup and I think that if you are not like a makeup woman or a makeup girly, you're really gonna love the sheer lipstick in Gypsy because it's just effortless and beautiful. It gives you a little color without doing too much. So guys, those are all of my essentials that I wanted to share for this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much for watching and always supporting. I'm so excited to get into my fall goodies and I hope you guys are as well. Leave any comments or questions you have down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.